I would just like to say, first of all, that a little while ago, someone that I speak to privately, one of my viewers, asked me about the concept of a magical hangover. And this morning, after the summer solstice full moon, I woke up just now, like five minutes ago, feeling like I was hungover and thought, oh, that's weird. I didn't drink anything. And then realized, oh, I didn't ground. So just the importance of grounding. <laughs> so I just had to ground when I woke up and drink some water. Like, literally, I feel like I'm hungover and I didn't drink. But I do not have that much sleep behind me and also ritual. So, anyway, this week... Hi, my name's Kara. I'm your Tuesday host here on The Pagan Perspective. And this week, we are talking about challenges from deity, and the person who asked this wants to know if this happens to everyone, or if maybe just some people experience this, the idea that when you choose a patron deity to work with or work for or worship, whatever your particular relationship is, if everyone gets a test or a challenge from them because they've heard that, you know, life becomes more challenging and things are hard after this occurs and they are experiencing that happening and want to know other people's thoughts. So in my very limited experience with this, anyone who has been following my views for quite a while knows that for me working directly with specific deities is a fairly recent thing in my practice relevant to the whole thing, uh, relative to the whole thing. So in my limited experience with this only being in the past couple or few years, I can say that yes, that has happened, but I don't think of it in the same terms. To me, it feels like it's not so much that I am developing a relationship with a deity and they in turn hand me a challenge or test me specifically from them to me in order to see if I'm worthy or something. To me, what it ends up being is just that, you know, like I'll say, I want to form a relationship with you, and if I get an affirmative, it'll be like, yeah, cool, you can be one of my people. Cool, thanks. And then just as a result of that, life becomes more difficult because if you want to, if I, I'm talking about me, um, because if I want to follow them and live my life in such a way that I am keeping that an important thing, I know I'm being vague, I don't really exactly know how to say it, um, but basically, if I want to form a relationship with them and want to do that justice, life becomes more difficult because living in that way, following those beliefs, living that connection, just in itself becomes difficult. So it's never been for me that each individual deity that I'm forming a relationship with gives me a test or anything like that. It's just been that by changing my life and my thought patterns and my action patterns and what I want to do with my path, listening to those messages from the universe, I definitely feel like, if anything, my challenges come from the universe, not any specific deity. Listening to those messages makes my life more difficult. <laughs> That's not what I really mean to say. Those messages lead to things that are difficult because they lead to things that are change that are not what I'm currently doing. They lead to growth. There's a sense of comfort with where I already am and the ways that I am being pushed and pulled in my path are things that are causing me to grow and change. So that's how I think of it. Yes, it has happened to me. Anybody who's been watching my videos for the past year or so has heard me talk about it multiple times that 
there have been a lot of shifts happening, there's been a lot of difficult stuff, there's been a lot of changes in my life. A friend of mine who has been away in the military recently came home and texted me to catch up and said like, hey, you know, we should hang out and talk, you know, what's new in your life? And I was thinking of the last time I saw this person, about a year ago, and realized everything, like literally everything has changed, except that I still live where I lived then, and, you know, I still have my family, everything like that, but every other little individual life circumstance, even my cat, has changed, and I don't think that that's coincidental. I do think that a lot of that is as a result of choosing to finally start listening to these messages that were coming from the universe and trying to live in the ways that I'm being called to instead of ignoring that. So, that's my experience with it. That's what I have for you this week. And I will see you next time. Until then, I hope that everyone enjoyed the solstice summer or winter, as you are, wherever you are, and the full moon. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I hope that my headache goes away soon. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.